Like all mechanical equipment, a DOP submersible dredge pump should be checked and maintained in order to prevent damage or possible dangerous situations. It will also lead in a higher uptime and minimize repair costs. In this movie, I will run you through the most important checks you should run on a regular basis. Oil check, draining the mechanical seal, pump wear and wear plate condition. Always consult the user manual before you start working on your dump pump. Let's start with some general directives you should always work by. First of all, you should always make sure to clean the mating surfaces and apply new grease before replacing them when you assemble or disassemble parts. Also, we advise you to check the proper tightening of all bolts. Keep in mind that the checks and maintenance shown in these movies are the minimum requirements when operating a Damon Doppop. Local conditions as well as the intensity of use may influence the frequency and operation of some of the maintenance tasks. This is where you check the oil level of the bearing housing of the DOP. When the oil touches the filling plug, everything's fine. When the level is lower, oil needs to be added and if the oil level is higher than normal, you probably have a leaking mechanical seal or a leak in the hydraulic motor. Before you check the oil level in the bearing casing, make sure that the pump unit is in an upright position. Make sure that the area around the oil filling plug is clean before you remove the oil filling plug. Now you're ready to top up the bearing casing with clean oil. When the oil touches the filling plug, you're good to go. Consult the user manual for the correct type of oil. To finish up, clean the oil filling plug and remount it. A special feature of the Damen Dop Pump is the shaft sealing system. This seal eliminates the need for grease and flush water. The maintenance of this seal is important, but straightforward. The seal is equipped with a drain chamber which can accumulate small amounts of water over time. The chamber must be drained by use of the drain plug. Before draining, the complete pump unit must be in a vertical position for at least four hours. Drain the water from the chamber. Drain until clean oil comes out of the hose and reposition the plug. After draining, check the oil level and refill if needed until the oil touches the filling plug. All internal parts of the pump which are in contact with the pumped material must be checked for wear on a regular basis. Time intervals may vary depending on the type of material pumped. The pump wear parts are high wear resistant castings, which cannot be repaired by welding. The wearing plates will have the highest wear near the discharge of the pump. To prolong the use of your wearing plate, it can be rotated several times before it is completely worn out. When the thickness of any part of the plate has been reduced to 25% of its original thickness, it has to be repositioned. You can do this several times before the entire wearing plate needs to be replaced. As a rule of thumb, you should make sure the maximum clearance between the impeller and the wearing plate is 10 mm. Regular maintenance keeps your DOP submersible dredge pump in an optimal condition and ensures a maximum uptime. Music